Good morning, good afternoon, and a good night. Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. My name is Sports Monkey, and we are back here in my city. For today, I would like to get into back into the City Skylines Airport DLC. So the last video we had was we built a classic two-story terminal and we built a passenger terminal. And so far, everything with the passenger terminal is going fantastic. But for today, I want to dig into the other half of the City Skylines Airport DLC. I want to go to the cargo side of things. What I mean by that is I want to dig into the cargo airport itself. Now, common sense says the cargo airport, we have all the space. Common sense says we could put the cargo airport right in here. That would be too simple. What I would like to do is I want to add this cargo airport in the middle of my city. So let's move over to that part of the city. So we have this part of my city. There is tons of industry around and other type of, you know, we, we do have some high rise residential in there, but for the most part, this part of my city has a lot of industry. You can see to my right, we have forests to the left. We have the oil industry. So what I want to do is I want to put the city skylines cargo airport in this area. So I have to delete this airport and we're kind of going to redo everything that I built in this area. We got to rebuild it. I mean, some of this, it looks like garbage. So we're going to redo it. So I'm going to quickly demolish this and then we're going to start building the city skylines cargo airport. So let's get started. What we need to do first is we already did the districting, like I mentioned, and now we need to plan out this terminal. So a cargo airport terminal is one of the very first things you need to build. Okay guys. So this is the cargo terminal and you know, obviously with the airport passenger terminal, we needed a cargo terminal. So what this does is we have the terminal. Now we're able to actually get cargo. So so now the next thing I think that needs to be in a very important detail is the runway next. Now let's scroll over and I do want this runway to go left to right. Now we, remember we do not need the biggest runway in the world. So, you know, it's not going to be all we, there we go. I think that's all we're going to build is 65 units. Okay. So now that we have that in place. We can start building the taxiway, but before we do the taxiway, we definitely want to build or before we do our one way system, we definitely want to build the plane stands for this. So we have two size roads. We have a medium cargo road and we have a large one. So let's just use the large one and just extend that out to here. And then we're going to extend the medium one out even further over here. And the other side, we're going to go 900. So we're creating like a T essentially. So what you can also do is we're going to go for an E, the letter E. And if you guys don't see the letter E, well, there you go. E for cargo train, <laughs> cargo train, cargo, cargo airport hub. Yeah, I know that was unoriginal and stupid. Anyways, so what we're going to do next is we are going to place these plane stands right along the way. So I think we can fit three. Can we fit three? Yeah, we can fit three. So we're going to fit three there and we're, oh, they're connecting. So I did not leave enough room, but that's okay. Let's just, let's just keep going and place three more over here and I'm going to fix this. So I'm going to fix my air. So be right back guys, because those taxi or the plane stands cannot touch. So give me one second to readjust. Okay guys. So now that we've extended out the cargo road, um, we can add more, more plane stands because we, I'm going to assume that we are going to take on a massive amount of cargo. So now that we have, we're going to have both sides. So again, this is our extended E. Yeah, I know. It's our big E. So we stretched it out a little bit and we do have some stuff we can place in the middle, but I'm not going to do that. So remember when creating the passenger terminal that everything was a one way road. Well, this is no different when you're building the taxiways. Okay guys. So now that we have all the plane stands in here, um, what we're going to do is we have to create a one way road system for the runway, just like you did with the passenger terminal. We need to do that with the runway. So let's get back over to our taxiway road and let's start Let's start the one way process. So again, you have your way to get in and out of your runway. So we can 
just move that down and move that up. Now we need to create that one way system that will just connect everything up. So we'll do what we did over here and we're just gonna go, just gonna go down. We're gonna, we're gonna connect everything down and then we'll have it come back up. So go here, go here, go here, and then, ooh, that's, that's not gonna look pretty. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to, I'm gonna have to edit that or what I could do is I could fill it in with the surface tool. And what I mean by that is, see how it's not very pretty? So see how I use the move it tool to kind of align the nodes, but I also, what I'm also gonna do is use the surface painter and paint that right in. So it looks like one giant, it just looks like one giant concrete slab. So let's do the, let's go back to the other side and do literally the same thing. And we'll just go down and connect. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll go straight across. Boom, boom, boom. Now that we have everything straight across, we need, somehow we need to get a one way road all the way down here. So it goes up to there. And we can start out by doing this. So we're gonna, there we go. Now, if you do have the move it mod, I highly suggest that you use the move it mod to just adjust some of the nodes like this one right here. You just want to adjust it downward so it just looks a little bit better. All right, so we have our one way road. It is, there we go. We updated, updated up. We wanted everything to be going to the left because that's how they're going to get out of here. Plus, um, this way is to the right because, well, you can see roadwise exactly the issue. So now that we have that in place, we need to get the road straight ahead over there. Now, the problem is, is that there is a road in the way already. So what we're going to do is I probably am going to delete part of that road and then I'm going to, I'm going to put in the taxiway and then I'm going to put in a, oh God, we need to fit that there you go nope so see oh see how it connects to the node oh my gosh that is frustrating so see how it connects to the node we are going to use the move it tool again now if you are on a console you definitely want to make sure that plan your nodes properly go just move this one slightly up so everything is kind of there you go so now what we're going to also do again is use the surface tool fill this all in no, I do not actually want that one filled in. So we got to change the size of it and we just want to fill this a little bit in. Now we have all of our terminals in place and we filled in the surface painter. So everything kind of looks good. We're done, right? No, we are not done yet, guys. We have still more things to build in this airport DLC. And now remember there are large hangars and then there's other things like the small park plane. They do have do they have cargo park planes? Oh, parked cargo plane, okay. So I would actually like to add a few of those in this area. So we're gonna place one here, one here. Let's see what the other options are. We're gonna place three of them over here, maybe four. And then can we fit? No, let's just leave, let's leave that for the time being. So we'll have some park, park cargo planes, which actually kind of fits pretty well because this is where our cargo plane stands are, are already. So let's just plug that in there. Now we will need a refueling area. All right, I'm just gonna place it here for the time being and we'll just call today. That's fine. I don't know if that's very realistic, but we'll just say that's fine for the time being. Okay, so now that we have that in place, what we also wanna do is there is a special terminal for cargo now let's just we got to find it so we have the or not terminal but train station for the the cargo so we have that that's the train station we need there we go this is the cargo one so this is the airport cargo station so we're gonna put this i think i think we're gonna treat it like a normal cargo train station and we need it like i don't i feel like I feel like this is not enough space to place let's just see let's just plop it and just give it a look Okay guys, so welcome back to my City Skylines cargo terminal or cargo airport, I should say. And we did notice a few things that um, just did not work well. And there's a few things that really did work well. So for the very first thing that you probably noticed that this is the airport terminal itself. So we're gonna follow one of these trucks and nope, there we go. Follow one of the trucks 
and it's kind of cool what this does so there is kind of like a gated entrance so that's kind of realistic on what they're trying to do so it's going to go right and then look at what it's going to do this is pretty cool what it does with the forest industry products so it's going along going along going along and then what it does is well oh and what it does is eventually well there is not a plane there well for the most part uh the planes the planes actually will be there and they do and then when planes are unloading cargo look at they create traffic so the point of this whole thing is that you know oh there's the plane itself okay so the plane was just rendering anyways so you can see that trucks are going in and out of these cargo airplanes which is really cool now one thing i did notice is when you do have a bustling airport uh cargo airport air traffic becomes a nightmare so what i had to do wow that okay that cargo airplane was rock and rolling so what you're gonna notice is over here is this is how the planes are going onto the runway and the reason behind that is there's so much traffic built up that it just it, it was just getting clogged up as you can see right here it's still getting clogged up so something to keep in mind is that there is going to be a lot of traffic and anyways guys so while we're waiting for you know like everything to clear out um if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comment section below but i feel like overall i did do a decent job with the airport terminal or airport cargo airport i should say and overall it's gone well and this is just typical city skylines air traffic um you guys know how the cargo harbors are which with boat traffic well, this is going to be the same thing. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I, again, I think this turned out fantastic. Um, obviously don't worry about the walls, like uh, the walls, the, uh, cliffs. This was, I was just adding this airport just to see what it would look like in this area and just to see what it would do. So thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.